Whew. Kelly and Kelly and quit sniffing Trump's hairspray. Oh my gosh, what were you thinking? Well, obviously, you weren't. Hello, hello. Uh, we're doing a reading on Kellyanne because, oh boy. Kellyanne, somebody did a, an article for at the Examiner. Somebody did a, an article on Kellyanne and they were pointing out that she is caught, she is be caught between, she is between, I don't even think they use the word caught. She is between uh, an argument between her husband and the president. Well, there were, this reporter who had put that, that article was talking to somebody else and off the record with that person. And then Kellyanne got on the phone and didn't say anything about anything being off the record. And that's how this works. You have to say, this is off the record. Or guess what? Uh, she just laid into this woman and, uh, you know, she, I, you know what, I, I will say one thing that in theory, there, there was one point she made, I, you know, who doesn't agree with, which is, you know, you should don't even bring it up. But if it's a woman, too often people bring up the man and that's, that's fair. You know, that's, you know, that is a problem. However, uh, somebody needs to explain to her that uh, feminism is a subset of equality. And that's kind of key to feminism because what she said to the, uh, she, you know, she made that point that I, I mentioned, that's fine, great. And then she said, he, meaning her husband, he derives his power from me, not the other way around. Oh, no, 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 no. And then she said, well, if you are going to investigate my private life, then we're going to start investigating yours around here. So you're threatening to investigate reporters' private lives because they wrote something about you you didn't like. Oh, and the whole article in the first place was based on the idea of Kellyanne possibly becoming chief of staff. And then she said, also said, Kellyanne said that, well, you didn't write about how I'm the first woman, the only woman to have successfully run a presidential campaign. And on the one hand, sort of, yeah, she didn't run the whole thing, you know, she what she was in charge for a couple of weeks, I don't know, but sure, I'll accept that to a certain extent, except, you know, is it really does that really count when the the person you've you've brought into office is a fascist, a tin pot dictator? Congratulations, you have installed the tin pot dictator. Yay. What a great job you did. I mean, really? Serial cheater, liar, corrupt, vile, assaulting. Yeah, just no. No. Allegedly assaulting. Do, I have to, do, we, do we still have to say alleged? I mean, he said, I do this. And then some woman said, yes, he does. How is that? Why is that need to be alleged? He said, I do this. Women, multiple women came forward and said, yes, he does. And worse. All right, so Kellyanne. Wow, she has been sniffing Trump's hairspray. She's got a head full of Trump, Trump's exhaust fumes at this point. And uh, that's something I don't want to think too, too much about because yuck. Anything coming off of Trump. No, thank you. But yeah, we're going to invest. If you're going to investigate us here, we're going to investigate you. She says from the White House. Yeah, that was a treat. <laughs> Actually, that was that was quite a gift to that reporter. Seriously, that reporter is wham on the map. Hello. Thank you, Kellyanne. You did better, better than a fruit basket in the past. 
Uh, Kellyanne has, she's having trouble at home, obviously, and she, it hurts her how much criticism she's been getting about her looks, which I, you know, I, I don't make fun of her looks. I will occasionally make fun of s certain men's looks, uh, but generally only if they have insulted women's looks. Do you know what I mean? I mean, like, if they're just, like, Trump's constantly going around uh, calling, well, the she's fat and she's ugly and she's this and she's that. It's like, uh, no, okay. <clears throat> let's, let's talk about, we're going to talk, you're going to talk about that? We're going to talk about this. But, um, whew, okay. Center of the reading. Nine of Imps, it's the, it's the Nine of Wands. Um, traditionally, it's the PTSD card, but this has this has been coming up as the, the wall protecting Trump. And she's just one of the one of the people at the wall protecting him. That's what that's what she is, whether she realizes it or not. Base of the reading, Eight of Swords. It feels like she's lost friends. It makes her it makes her mad. And the Six of Pentacles, which it's hard for me actually with this deck. I love this deck, but I, this is my favorite card in the deck. This is this is my second favorite card in the deck. But this is my favorite card in the deck, and so sometimes it's like, okay, let me stop. What does this actually feel like? Because I always want to say good things about this card, but no, 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 that's not how this works. Six of Pentacles. Yeah, she's getting uh, big for her britches where every, she's starting to see herself as, and she has the candy and she is doling it out. It's like with, with when the Trump lawyers were arguing that Trump can't be investigated, let alone indicted. Uh, I realize it's probably a technical term, but they kept in court, I was listening to the court proceedings and they kept using the word sovereign it was like, oh, that's not a good look. That's not a good look. Yeah, she's sovereign. That's that's how she's feeling. She is in the inner circle. She's in the court. Yeah, she said in the, the interview, rather, it wasn't an interview, the bur when she was berating this poor reporter, she was saying that uh, she has survived the administration when so many haven't. And it's like, oh, well, good for you. You can handle the noxious fumes better than most. Two of Swords, which is Decisions, Four of Ghosts, Four of Cups. She has been, She's. this is about her sur having survived this long in the White House. And some of it has to be knowing who to talk to, but also knowing when to keep your mouth shut and not getting caught up. So she has been, this, this has, this, this feels like anger. This feels like the way she's maneuvered. Okay. Near future. Four of Swords. Uh, well, this art, this, there's so much going on that this is not going to get massive coverage. Like it would have in other administrations. The, the story itself is going to go kind of quiet. Knight of Bats is Knight of Swords. These, this, these are. This often comes up as the investigators, and that's what this feels like. She's already uh, got some ethic issues with constantly violating the Hatch Act, which says that she's not. You, you can't. You can't promote, a, like, Ivanka's clothing line or, you know, other. You, you can't promote stuff like that from the White House. This is going to get added to that. Home environment, well, but Barr's still in charge. And it, when someone asked her about the, a, a journalist asked her on the White House lawn about the Hatch Act violations and all of this, and she was so flippant. She was so, she was so dismissive. And she said, yeah, call me when the, when I'm going to be arrested or call me when she just blew it all off. And yeah, as long as Barr's there, this is a card that keeps coming up for, for Barr and his own noxious smoke screen. You know, like when in those, in one of those old TV shows or movies when somebody would use like a, throw down a smoke bomb to escape 
and uh, you had the rest of the actors standing there coughing and waving their hand in the air. That's that's Bart's job, and worse. Hopes and fears. Uh, this is this is fear. The five of ghosts is five of cups. This feels very much like. And, but it's, this isn't her marriage. Her, the most important thing to her right now is, is the White House, is Trump. And he's more important to her right now than her husband is. That's what it feels like. Also not a good look. Yeah. You, you, if you choose, if you choose Trump over your husband, you, you, you got, you got issues coming and going. What other people see? Smoke screen, garbage, seven of cups. Yeah, this is the, this is the um, administration. They have, you've got Trump, you've got Kellyanne, you've got uh, Barr, you've got these people in place that that can help Trump immensely. You've got McConnell, you've got. Gates and Jordan and Nunez, the the three, the three congressional uh, idiots. We'll just call them idiots. Final outcome: Kelly Ann, Ace of Bats, uh, Ace of Swords, Chariot. Oh, this has to do with Trump's removal moving very quickly. Queen of Pentacles. She's made quite a bit of money. She and her husband live in a very large house and she has made quite a bit of money. This is where she's being investigated, but this is, this even, I mean, normally this is like a huge, moving, loud, you can just imagine this knight racing forward on his horse. It'd be clanking and clomping and really attracting attention, but no, this is nothing compared to this. This is what's coming against Trump, and it's going to happen quickly. But she has quite a bit of money. Well, what does that money do for her? Is she just going to walk away and eat bonbons? And Wow. Threatening. Threatening to investigate journalist private life from the White House. Yeah. Cool your jets. Calm down. Seven of Swords. Insult to injury. Two of Ghosts. Who she is actually going to work with. Two of Cups. And yeah, but it, no matter what she does, it, yeah, this is going to be much smaller in comparison to what's coming. And again, big, big energy around what's about to happen to Trump. So yeah, a lot of this is just, this is just gonna be one more thing, just fall by the wayside. But it's it's appalling, it's absolutely appalling. Does so? Do, what well, what happens to get to uh, Kellyanne in the in, in general? In general, she's gonna be one more figure walking in and out of courtrooms for a long time. Actual, not just hearings at courtrooms, in America watching. And, oh, she's going to use the, the Giuliani defense. Oh, I was just doing it for the president. I, it wasn't me. It wasn't me. She's going to be among many brought in court for its hearings and then court for some, you know, court for various reasons. Oh, two, two here. Justice in the world. You have no idea how much I shuffled this deck justice and the world coming up together. It, it happened for Trump the other day. You have no idea how much I shuffled this, in the different ways I shuffled this deck, this deck this morning, separating things out card by card by card by card by card, and they're back together. Boom. All right, that's what's coming. Whew. Yeah, let's, let's, let's move forward, shall we? There are good days ahead. All right, and thank you so much for watching. I've, I'm having a good day because you're watching. Trust me. And I'm, I'm very grateful. And I'm very, very grateful to my patrons. So hang in there because this is, this is about to get very interesting. All right. Thank you so much.